Hey guys, Phil here. Welcome back to my garden. Today I'm going to do something a bit different. I'm going to spread diatomaceous earth on my garden. So first, before I start, I'm going to explain why. I've been having a problem with um, bugs eating my plants. They're called um, striped flea be uh, beetles. Yeah, striped flea beetles. And they're eating my plants a lot. I'll give you a quick glance at what it looks like right now before I start treating it. But before I do, I'm going to talk about what is diatomaceous earth and what are the safety precautions when using it. So stay tuned. So what I have here, that's um, diatomaceous earth. It looks like some kind of powder. Uh, it nearly looks like some kind of flower or something. Uh, this is made from ground up soil that is basically fossils from these animals that have um, a kind of a shell. Uh, it's a bit like chalk if you think about it and it has very very sharp edges on it. Uh, not enough that we can actually feel it when touching it but enough that some pests will be damaged by it. And now it's not a universal treatment against bugs. Only those that have a hard shell will be affected by that. Basically, it gets in the ch chinks of their their shell, and that forces them to shed that shell, and they end up drying up. The thing with that is that this can get in your lungs and can be kind of irritating. So use a mask. Here I have a respirator that's uh, basically for asbestos. I use it for renovating around the house if I have to sand the drywall and stuff like that. You know, just to be on the safe side. And that's what I'm going to use for that because you don't want to breathe that in. It's safe to eat, it's safe to touch, but don't get that in your lungs. So we'll switch now to the garden where I will show you how to put that in. Okay, so you can see there what kind of damage you can get from that. And, oh, I think we see one of them there. That's what they look like. These things will eat through your plants like crazy. Especially anything brassica or even radishes. They'll eat through that and mostly that's what I had trouble with, with especially with that. That's collards. Uh, you see this one had a lot of trouble starting because of them uh, nearly got eaten completely. So that's the kind of damage you can expect from those. And they spread like crazy. I started growing more colored uh, seedlings and they got eaten pretty bad. So at that point I'm not even sure they're going to be viable. Let me show you what it looks like on those. You can see some of them have been eaten so bad that even the stalk is falling. So that's what prompted me into actually treating the garden. Now I apologize in advance, you won't be able to hear me talk with the mask so the rest will feel a bit like an ASMR thing but I mean that's the best I can do. So there you go, that's what it looks like once it's treated. I didn't spray my lettuce because they don't seem to be very interested in those. But everything that was getting eaten I just completely sprayed with that. And it's gonna rain tomorrow so most of it will get washed away. And that should be the end of it, hopefully. If not I still have more than half a bag left. 
and I'll just treat until it's done. I'm not usually a big fan of treating against bugs because there's not really a point when it's just minor. But it got to a point where too many of my plants were getting eaten, so uh, yeah, I didn't have a choice. Now, one last thing I wanted to mention about the diatomaceous earth, diatomaceous earth, is that there's two kinds. There's one that is heat treated and one that is not. You don't want a heat treated one. The heat treated one can get uh, kind of toxic in a way. You you don't really want it. You want the untreated, the unheated one. Uh, usually, if you look for food safe, you should be fine. And that's what I did. I bought mine on Amazon. I think the one I have is for poultry. So I think it can be used to treat mites. So um, that's what I got. At least I know it's food safe. So even if it got on my food, it, it's fine. <laughs> and I mean, I'm growing a garden. So that's going on my food. So be careful when you buy that stuff. Just buy the stuff that is safe for you. So anyway. That's all for this week. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to share, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time for more gardening videos. Ciao, guys.